for next topic is frequency division multiplexing and demultiplexing so that is fdm now let us see the proof here uh, two dsp signals are generated with different carrier frequencies and they are added and they are added so that is fdm is combining all modulating signals so that is multiplexing so demultiplexing means from the combined signal and we have to separate the separate the dsb signals dsb signals now how it is done see here so clear all and close all so f1 is equal to input carrier frequency input baseband signal frequency f2 is the uh, another uh, baseband signal frequency and uh, carrier one signal frequency and second carrier fc fc2 is the take the input from the second uh, carrier frequency to generate second dsb dsbsc okay so uh, t is created T column matrix is created with uh, T equal to 0 colon 0 0.001 up to 0.4 so T 0 is initial value and 0.4 is the maximum value of the last element and uh, 0.001 it is the incremental value so it creates a column matrix of T so M1 is equal to cos of 2 pi F1 T is the first message signal and M2 is the second message signal cos of 2 pi F2 F2 is the uh, frequency of the second modulating signal second message signal and T is substituted so M2, M1, M2 both are uh, two uh, modulating signals, message signals similarly so C1 cos of 2 pi Fc1 into T and C2 is equal to cos of 2 pi Fc2 T so C1, C2, two, uh, both uh, carrier signals. Okay, first you have to generate DSV SC1. So DS we have to uh, generate DSV SC. So by multiplication of uh, by multiplication of uh, message signal one and carrier signal one. First carrier and first message signal. So it produces AM1. So that is a DSV SC. DSVSC1. So second to DSVSC, you have to multiply second message signal with a second carrier signal that produces AM2. AM2. DSVSC2. So both are combined. ABM signal means both are combined. M1 plus M2. So that generates a ABM signal. So ABM contains two signals. So DSVSC1, DSVSC2. So why it is, it is DSBSC, in case of DSBSC, message signal is multiplied with carrier signal. So that is nothing but DSBSC, double side one suppressor carrier. Okay, this is DSBSC1, this is DSBSC2. So two signals are added and uh, that are stored in the FBM variable. So FBM variable contains the FBM signal. Okay, now we have to separate. So AM1 and AM2 from the FBM signals. Now we have only FBM signal. FBM signal. So now let us see how to separate uh, DSBSC1 and DSBSC2. So this is what the this is what FDM signal spectrum. So first message signal is modulated. First message signal modulates the first carrier frequency FC1. So this is a DSB1 spectrum. So it is having LSB and USB. 
and uh, second DSP contains LSB and USB central frequency FC2. So see the limits of the bandwidth of the DSP SC1. So uh, DSP SC1 bandwidth is so FC1 minus FM1 is the lower frequency and FC1 plus FM1 is the higher frequency. So you have to select the band pass filter with the limits of FC1 minus FM1 and FC1 plus FM2. So lower cut of frequency and upper cut of frequency you have to select in this way. Then we can separate uh, DSBS from the FDM. Similarly, so you can separate a DSBSC2 so with the following uh, BPF uh, cut of frequencies. So you have to pass through the band pass filter so having the cut of frequency FC2 minus FM2 one lower cut of frequency upper cut of frequency is F2, FC2 minus FC2 plus FM. You have to take uh, under that of band pass filter having the cut of frequencies lower cut of frequency of the, this one and higher cut of frequency is this one ok so in this program we are not using uh, band pass filter so we are using uh, butterworth uh, high pass filter and low pass filter high pass filter and low, low pass filter so high pass filter uh, having the cut of frequency You have to take a lower limit of F is a high pass filter cut off frequency, so it should be a lower cut off frequency FC1 minus FM1. So, this is a pass band of the higher high pass filter. Similarly, you have to take the low pass filter, cut. so having the cut off frequency FC1 plus FM1. So, it is the lower cut off frequency. So what is the common area we have observed? So what is the common area we have to observe? So common area we have to observe with the common pass band. Common pass band. Okay, so pass band is uh, from uh, lower limit to uh, FC1 minus FM1. So FC1 minus FM1. And uh, common point uh, common band so you have see take the common area for uh, HPF and uh, LPF so you will get the limits ok so limit is FC1 plus FM1 and FC1 plus FM1 ok so this is the FC1 minus FM1 sorry so it should be FC1 minus FM1 and the second limit is FC1 plus FM1. So we will get band pass filter like this. So in the program we are taking uh, Butterworth high pass filter and low pass filter with the cut off frequencies FC1 minus FM1 and taking LPF with cut off frequency FC1 plus FM1. So due to uh, by taking these two HPF and uh, BPF we obtain band pass filter. So with the cut off frequency, cut off frequency, so FC1 minus FM1 here, FC plus FM1. So with this limit, so uh, this is the spectrum range of the DSB SC1. So similarly, the same uh, to take uh, HPF and LPF for uh, second message signal for second DSB to detection for second DSB to detection now let us open the program
okay so separating uh, dsb sc1 from the abm signal so you have to call the butter path filter i pass filter so with the frequency limits fch fc1 minus F, fm1 and uh, low pass filter cut off frequency is fcl equal to fc1 minus F1. Okay, FC1 plus F1. So FCL minus F1. So this is the cutoff frequency of the bypass filter, and this is the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter. You select this one. So we call the butter function with this arguments. First argument is order of the filter, second one is normalized with the angle of frequency. And the third is uh, I-pass filter, it will be getting I-pass filter and pass call the filter function and the uh, input is a, a BM signal. I and you are calling the butter function for low pass filter. I and you are calling filter function. Final value M12. So M12 is nothing but the uh, so demodulated signal. M12 is nothing but demodulated signal of DSBSC1. So modulated signal. So sorry. So modulated signal. It is a DSBSC1. So modulated signal. For demodulation, again you have to multiply. M12 with carrier signal. So this is the product modulation. So M11 is the product modulator output. Product modulator output it is passed through the low pass filter. Pass with low pass filter. But with low pass filter, finally you will get so BA11. So it is the demodulated signal BA11. If you are passing through to whatever the low pass filters, BA11. The same thing is for separating the DSB SC2 from the F FDM. First of all, you have to call I pass filter. What was I pass filter? So, call filter and filter function. And call butter with the low pass filter. So the low pass filter, same as in DSVSC one. You have to call high pass filter and low pass filter. So finally, we will get M two two that is DSVSC two, DSVSC two. So you have to demodulate the DSVSC two. So how to demodulate the DSV signal by using product modulation? Product modulation means DSVSC signal must be multiplied with carrier signal, so that is M21. So that is M21 is passed through the Butterworth low pass filter. So you have to call Butterworth butter function to get the denominator to numerator coefficient, and you have to call function filter two times after passing through the two Butterworth filters. So finally, you will get uh, VA22. So that is the final output of the second order. DSB signal demodulated signal of DSB C2. So BA2 BA22 contains the demodulated signal of DSB C2. Now you have to call subplot comma one comma one three figures. First one is FDM. Second one is demodulated signal M1. Second one is demodulated signal M2. So this is what the demodulation of the BM signal.